good morning from the Nash Weather Service here in Pocatello. My name is Carter, and today's weather hazard briefing is going to be for your Thursday, January 20th. We are seeing some continued low stratus and fog this morning, a little bit less widespread than it was yesterday, uh, but we're still keeping our eyes on that winter storm that's going to be arriving this afternoon and evening, uh, bringing some widespread light to moderate snow and some breezy winds. Some key points we're going to focus on today, we do have that fog and that low stratus continuing across many of our lower elevations with some of the dense fog located around those, some of those higher elevation mountain passes, especially in our north and eastern locations. Do have a winter storm arriving this afternoon and evening. Uh, taking a look at some preliminary totals, especially across our lower elevations in central mountains, just about a trace to four inches of snow, uh, especially in the Snake Plain uh, out towards uh, Idaho Falls and Rexburg. We see in the highest totals for the Snake Plain. Uh, but looking out towards the eastern highlands, it's going to be seeing the most snow falling. Um, it may be about three to eight inches, some locally higher amounts uh, out in the Tetons and Big Holes. Uh, but looking down towards the uh, southern highlands as well, uh, generally in the about two to eight inch range with some locally higher at some of the ridges tops and mountain ridges. Uh, for mainly going to be some light snow showers before and after the main event are expected. Uh, so maybe just like a little bit of preliminary snow, uh, especially in the upper snake right now with some of the lower lying clouds. Uh, but after that, especially towards Friday morning, uh, we will continue to see some scattered snow showers after that main push of precipitation does come through later this afternoon. We are looking at some breezy winds late tonight through early tomorrow. Mainly those are going to be in the eastern Magic Valley and across our higher terrain, uh, looking fairly confined down in those areas. Quick look at your satellite for this morning. We do see that areas of fog and low stratus, especially across all of our lower elevations and some of those higher mountain passes. And we start to see our next system as it works through, uh, leading to some of those mid to upper level clouds starting to filter in. And we will see these clouds increase, so it might not be maybe fairly cloudy where you're at right here, uh, if not clearing a little bit possibly. Uh, starting to see some of those lights below, uh, but just going to be seeing some increased cloudiness throughout the day on top of that and before the snow arrives this afternoon. Look at the weather risk outlook. Today's going to be the day for the action. Uh, we're kind of looking at the uh, Snake Plain, Magic Valley, South Hills, Southeast Highlands, and the Eastern Highlands for some impacts, uh, minor, to, minor to moderate impacts. Uh, everywhere else, just going to be that light snow. Uh, we're looking at that locally dense morning fog and some breezy winds, especially down towards Burley and the uh, Magic Valley Southern Hill area. And once that precipitation kind of works through, we'll still see some uh, few lingering snow showers into Friday morning. But other than that, it's just going to be another day of some locally dense AM fog uh, and some patchy morning fog as well. Which sucks. Continued breezy winds. Uh, winds should die down pretty quickly throughout the day on Friday, uh, but just something to keep an eye out for Friday morning. Uh, for Saturday, much of the same, that locally dense morning fog. But once that hopefully clears, uh, should be nice sunny skies for your weekend. Look at the current watches, warnings, and advisory. We did issue some winter weather advisories, uh, mainly for those higher elevation zones, uh, kind of just east of the Snake Plain. So we're talking you know, maybe up to four inches along this corridor. Uh, but once you get out towards here, maybe that four to eight potential is definitely more realized. And down here, especially out towards Oakley and the Albion Mountains and Southern Hills, uh, starting to see that winter weather advisory as well. Look at your high and low temperatures for today. Starting off the single digits out towards the Mud Lake area, but everywhere else should be in the low low teens to mid 20s, uh, with highs warming up into the mid 20s to mid 30s. And with those warmer temperatures, we might see some rain start to mix in out towards Burley and Twin uh, for this afternoon. Uh, but that should be quickly, if not all snow. Uh, so just very you know slight warm edge to the system. But once the uh, colder temperatures work through, it should be all snow for everybody. This is kind of looking at some of those snowfall amounts. So this morning we are starting to see some snow showers, uh, mainly further north and east, but mainly around Island Park, you know, through Driggs, uh, maybe just a light coating of snow. And this afternoon, so this is taking a look at 11 a.m. through 5 p.m., we're going to start to see that snow arrive throughout the day, uh, mainly northwest to southeast. So heaviest snow is going to fall northwest in the Central Mountains this afternoon. And as we start to work through the uh, evening commute hours, we're going to start to see the uh, impacts along the I-15, I-86 corridors uh, towards later this afternoon. And this evening, it's going to be a heavy hitter for southeast portions of the forecast area. Uh, so we're looking at a couple inches in a few hours. So it's going to, this is a six-hour period from 5 p.m. to 11 p.m. today. Uh, looking at a few inches uh, through Blackfoot, Pocatello, Idaho Falls, uh, areas of concern maybe in the Swan Valley and Driggs, uh, seeing about two to three inches in this period. So uh, it's going to impact the evening commute. Uh, not as much of a wind concern further north, so it's just going to be a you know light to moderate snow event. Uh, but further southwest you go, especially in the higher elevation, we do have that concern for some blowing snow. Overnight tonight, we are going to continue to see some light lingering snow showers uh, through 5 a.m. Friday, uh, mainly confined to the higher terrain uh, for additional uh, light accumulations, but down low you still could see some additional accumulations, mainly below an inch. 
And for Friday morning, this is through 11 a.m., uh, mainly confined south of I-86 and east of I-15. Uh, it's going to be just less than an inch, uh, so just some you know, residual snow showers on the backside, but things should be tapering off fairly quickly. And for your totals, we are looking at some widespread snowfall. Uh, it's going to be about less than an inch for many of the forecast area portions of the central mountains and Mud Lake here areas. Uh, with the system coming from the northwest, uh, we do have some shadowing going on, especially up here. So that's one of the main reasons for some of the snow totals in this area to be decreased. And that's also why some of the wind focus, we'll be getting to that here in a little bit, uh, is more focused in, in terms of our southern and western locations. Uh, if we're looking at a northwest flow pattern, uh, the heavier winds are going to be blocked a lot by the central mountains. So we might see that in the higher terrain especially. But by the time they make it to the Snake Plain, uh, it's not going to be having as much force behind it. So we're going to be seeing those higher winds uh, especially out towards Twin, Burley, Oakley, uh, but not so much up here in the Upper Snake where snow is more of a concern. Maximum wind speeds for your Friday morning. Uh, so this is going to be kind of that late Thursday, early Friday. Uh, we'll see winds ramp up uh, towards this afternoon, uh, generally gradually. But uh, as far as the maximum wind gusts, we'll probably see those Friday morning. Uh, sustained winds of 10 to 20 miles an hour, uh, mainly around the uh, Burley and Twin area. But for Friday morning as well for those wind gusts, uh, could see up to 40 to 45 miles an hour along some of those ridge lines uh, out towards Oakley, Burley, and Jerome. Uh, so something to keep an eye on. And also some breezy winds in the high country in the central mountains. Mountains. Your high temperatures for Friday, so on this back side of this system, uh, the temperatures are going to moderate out, maybe cool down by a few degrees for those in our southern locations, but just about freezing in the upper 20s to low 30s. And Saturday, things cool down again, so we enter that high pressure ridge that's going to be building in for the weekend, which means plenty of sunny skies, but we're going to have that fog and our lower elevations uh, impacting some of the visibility and ceiling concerns. And for Sunday, much of the same, especially out towards the Mud Lake area. But we are seeing uh, some 30s and actually 40 degrees out towards Stanley, Chalice, and the Central Mountains, um, down towards Burley, mid-30s. But here along the I-15 corridor, Pocatello, Idaho Falls, Rexburg, should be in those mid-20s to low-30s. And Monday, much of the same, so we're kind of keeping with that trend in the upper 20s to mid-30s for temperatures. Uh, so staying fairly consistent through next Monday and for the foreseeable future into next week. So in summary today, we do have that fog and low stratus continuing across our lower elevations. We do have some dense fog, um, mainly along those high elevation mountain passes. Do have a winter storm arriving this afternoon and evening with winter weather advisories in effect for the eastern highlands and southern highlands. Uh, light snow before and after the main event are expected with some light to moderate accumulations as the system comes through. We're going to see some breezy winds late tonight through early tomorrow, mainly in the eastern Magic Valley and higher terrain, which could lead to some localized blowing and drifting snow where newly fallen snow has occurred. And that wraps up your weather briefing for today, Thursday, January 20th. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please feel free to send us an email, give us a call, or check out some information on our website. Have an awesome day.